I noticed how the people that had been on Christ Renews, I noticed them when they were inviting people. And I was, um, I saw a special affection between them and a closeness to God that I didn't feel I had. And I wanted that. I think that uh, one of the reasons that I attended was that uh, there was something missing. Uh, I felt and I wasn't really sure what it was. I uh, had a great family and had uh, uh, the business seemed to be going okay, but I kind of felt that maybe there was something there and that I ought to go find out a little bit more about it. I didn't want to go. I was not in a good space. I didn't personally, so I didn't really want to go. It was only after um, much invitation and that my plans for the weekend fell through that I ended up going. And both, ultimately, I only went because my parish was asking me to. For me, it was, uh, it was the pulpit talks. Th those guys, I could see they had something that I didn't have. You could see a spirit about them that I wanted part of. I didn't really want to attend, so I thought I could attend through the first break on the Christ Renews weekend, leave at the first break with don coffee and donuts and be out the door and no one would know any different. Um, after about the... I had parked in the circle of the church, left my car there because I thought that that would be an easy way for me to escape the weekend. And by midday the first morning, I moved my car back to the back and had decided to stay. Oh, it was more than what I could even have imagined. It's just such a great experience to hear the stories in, in everyone's life of how God has made a difference. It was much more than what I expected. I expected to go to a weekend and uh, I'd been to many retreats. And I thought this would be similar to a retreat that I'd been to before. But I found out it was different. And it was different because I met so many new people. And I'd been in the parish 25 years and barely knew a handful of people. But after Christ Renews His Parish, well, on the weekend, I met 50 new people. What did I feel on my weekend? Um, the, presence of, the presence of God. Uh, it was just uh, overwhelming. Uh, his... Uh, his spirit and uh, his being was just brought to light that weekend. I felt a definite renewal. I felt, in fact, after the first witness at 10.30 in the morning on Saturday, I felt that I had found my place at St. Barnabas. Feeling of peace, um, joy, um, that God is alive and how he's alive here at St. Barnabas and alive in all of our lives. I honestly thought it was for Bible thumpers. I think the best part about my weekend was um, the camaraderie and the community feeling that is present um, and feeling the Holy Spirit present um, and seeing the um, lives of women change even in the two days that I attended. I really did not have a lot of close personal relationships with people in the parish. Uh, acquaintances, uh, friendly, passing by kind of relationships, but uh, it was an opportunity to strengthen relationships with 15 other men. I've often laughed about it was a men's, uh, that night was a men's swimming party. Some of the things that went on, it was just a laugh and carrying on. I, I hadn't been on anything like this since I was a Boy Scout. My weekend uh, was um, a very um, quiet weekend, believe it or not, for me. <laughs> I'm not a very quiet person, but um, probably less than a month before, my, my son had been killed in an automobile accident. And so I had gone really just to, to get away and be by myself. And that's, that's what it was for. So listening, I was there to listen, to, to be at peace with God. And um, I, I had just that. It was a feeling of peace and knowing, like, knowing that uh, I wasn't the only one going through my tr the troubles. When I looked back 
I really reflected on how many times that Christ really did walk right beside me. That the blessings that God gave me and bestowed on my family all these years, I somewhat took for granted. And through the weekend, there was really a deep awareness that all these blessings, all these good things, and mainly that all things are possible with God. Everyone's life changes since the weekend. And it's to a positive nature because it, it, it teaches you about your connection with God as an individual. It teaches you about your connection with your family and a team of brothers and sisters that you've shared an awakening with. And beyond that, it teaches you to be a disciple, to go out and to uh, take the light from under the basket and wave that light for all to see. It was a huge uh, impact in my life. Uh, my life. It's definitely a life-changing experience. I, I find it hard that anybody would go through the weekend and not say it was a, a change for the better. Holy cow. It, it's, it's, my faith has just grown. Um, I'm just, uh, Jesus is my friend. He used to be some far-off God up in the sky, and, and now um, I can speak with him on a daily basis. I'm learning more. I'm reading scripture. I have... I walk into church no matter what mass I go to. There are people that I know and love, and oh my gosh, it's just, my whole life has just been renewed. It's just become, I just, wow. Renewal isn't about starting over. I think it's about refashioning myself. It's about uh, discovering who I really am and then living it. I find myself going to church now more shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak Blessed.